Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I've got another G.I. Joe Sideshow Collectibles figure to show you. But before I jump into the review, I just wanted to mention that I am getting very close to reaching 3,000 subscribers, which is really exciting. So um, as always, I am going to be doing a giveaway in recognition of that. So just stay tuned for that. Um, I've got a pretty cool prize for the winner. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to mention that. And now let's get into this review. So today I've got the Red Ninja, part of Team Cobra. And um, this is a really cool figure. I don't know about you, but I am a huge fan of ninja figures. So this one really caught my attention. I had to get this one. So let's jump right in and take a look at the box for starters. Here is the Red Ninja and I did manage to track down the Sideshow exclusive version, which comes with an extra head sculpt, which is definitely worth getting. So we've got some more pictures on the side and then the back with more. There's his card. I just got Dusty, and that's a really good figure. Looking forward to reviewing him. And then inside the uh, packaging, we've got some extra uh, interchangeable feet and then some hands. Um, I did take this out to save on time because I wanted to show you some things. And then on the side, we've got his, his uh, weapon load out here. All right, well, this figure comes with a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna try to get through this as fast as I can for you. But um, here's some of the packaging. The packaging is so cool for these Sideshow G.I. Joe figures. So as you can see, he comes with a ton of extra interchangeable hands. And I mean a ton. There are a lot here. We've got a clenched fist, um, karate chop hand. So, And I will be swapping some of those out in the video. Um, and also comes with a set of ninja stars here that I've left in the packaging. Kind of scared to lose those, but just wanted to show those really quick. All right, well, let's take out the figure now. All right, guys, here is the red ninja. A really awesome figure. If you're into ninjas, then this is definitely one to get a hold of. And if you're gonna get this figure, I highly recommend you get the exclusive version because I think the exclusive head is 10 times cooler than the original. And I'll be showing the comparison between those two heads in a bit here. So yeah, um, this figure comes with a ton of weapons as you would expect from a ninja warrior. So right now I've got him holding his spear and then one of these cool knives and take a look this is a really cool hand how he can hold it in between his knuckles like that I think that's awesome all right well let's take a look at this spear because this is probably I think this is my favorite weapon that he comes with this is really nice I love the wooden grip here and the blade looks really good as well all right he does come with another one of these knives and these are really nice and there's a look at him holding it in this very unique hand sculpt All right, uh, he also comes with this weapon and I'm gonna have to refer to the box to get a name on this. It's called a Kusari Gama. And this is a very um, fearsome weapon. I would not wanna be smacked with this thing. And I'm gonna go ahead and take out this hand and we'll put in 
this one so he can hold the chain. So here he is holding it. It's a little awkward to hold in the hands, but um, it's a cool weapon and definitely one that you would expect a ninja to be carrying. Uh, pretty nice chain on there. All right. Now, as you can see, he's got two katanas on his back. And those, oops, his hat just fell off. Um, but those you can just put behind these cords. That looks really good. So let me take those off. So we've got a long katana and then a short katana. And the scabbards are really nice. Nicely painted. All right. And here they are. Look good. Not metal, they're just plastic. All right. So here he is holding them in his hands. All right, and then the last weapon that he comes with is this, um, I think it's called a, um, a Tonto knife. And you can just tuck that right into his, his sash there. Uh, but this is really nice. Love the paint on this. Great detailing and the scabbard for this is really nice. All right, so as you can see, um, that's a lot of weapons. And actually, before I forget, that's not even all of them. So underneath this ninja hat, this is really nice, by the way. Um, underneath, he's got these secret throwing knives tucked away. So we can just reach for those really quickly and throw them at his enemies. Um, so this guy is just packed with knives and katanas i mean he's got everything a very fearsome enemy um, but these are really cool and they just fit in there very snugly this is a really cool design and this looks really good on on his head as well um, this is definitely how i'm going to be posing him All right, so those are all the weapons. He comes with a ton of stuff. And next, let's take a look at the head sculpts. So here's the exclusive head sculpt that you get. And this one is just so much better than the original, in my opinion. Now he's got this Cobra. Um, it's like a Cobra metal um, headband that you can put over his head. And that's really nice. All right, and then a red hood. And if we put that down, here's a better look at the exclusive head sculpt. Pretty scary looking, um, but I really love the this like black metal um, visor that he's got. And then the eyes look really good as well. Now here's the original one which is very generic looking. This one gives him so much more personality. This one is kind of boring in my opinion. And I'm gonna swap it out so you can see. But if you remember my Black Dragon Ninja, he came with the exact same one, just in black. So this is like their generic ninja head and it's definitely not as interesting as the exclusive one. So I will definitely be going with the exclusive head on this. And like I said, 
you're going to get this figure, definitely go for the exclusive. This head sculpt is worth getting a hold of. All right. Well, as for his um, his outfit here, um, it looks really, really good. And just really quickly, I want to swap out his hands. I'm going to give him the karate chop. And then the clenched fist. All right. So yeah, his outfit is really cool. I love the red garments. And you can see the cobra symbol there. We've got um, the black cord, two black cords there for his katanas to rest in. And then these gauntlets are really cool. And then he's got uh, this black sash. All right. And we've got the um, ankle or the shin guards. And then his feet. All right. So I think that's everything to show for the figure. As you can see, this figure comes with a ton of weapons and lots of different interchangeable hands. So a lot of variety and you can get some really awesome poses with this figure. So I would highly recommend getting this one. And um, try, I think I got it for like 200 bucks on eBay. So he's pricey, especially if you want the exclusive one, but um, definitely worth it for that extra head sculpt. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll be showing him on his display stand at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you next time.